Registered Phenomena Code 743 Object Class Beta Yellow Hazard Types Aggression Hazard Animated Hazard Sapient Hazard Ideological Hazard Mind Control Hazard Containment Protocols Due to RPC-743 being currently immovable, it is required to be contained in its original location. As such, OL Site-743 has been constructed around RPC-743. A perimeter electric fence, no less than 3 meters high, is to be kept around RPC-743. Around-the-clock surveillance of RPC-743 and the structure surrounding it is to be maintained. If any changes in usual activity are detected within RPC-743, they are to be reported directly to Site Administrator Zhao. Should a civilian attempt to cross the boundaries, they are to be redirected away from RPC-743 under the guise of a chemical leak. In the event that someone does bypass security, they are to be immediately eliminated by ASF personnel. Exploration into the depths of RPC-743 is strictly forbidden without authorization by the Site Administrator. See Addendum 743.1 Containment Update 01 Despite the procedures that have been enacted to contain RPC-743, civilians and various animals have still been disappearing around Site-41. Revision of containment protocols is currently being considered. Containment Update 02 Newly observed hostile RPC-743-1 instances require additional resources to contain. Requests for supplies and reinforcements are currently pending. Containment Update 03 As of May 13, 2000, Handling of RPC-743 has been relinquished to the People's Republic of China due to their recent request for ownership of the anomaly. For the time being, this request has been granted out of debt to the PRC. For insurance, Covert Ops Team Romeo-12 has been established at OL Site-743 to keep continuous surveillance over the anomaly for the sake of the Authority. Description: RPC-743 is a mass of pipes, wires, chains, hooks, and other miscellaneous apparatuses located within the center of a metalworks factory in China. In its dormant state, these pipes and wires are completely stationary. RPC-743 designates, at current estimate, nearly 50 kilometers of a variety of metal objects. These pipes extend throughout the majority of the structure surrounding it. Prior to its rapid configuration, the factory containing RPC-743 had been drastically modified from its original layout due to the influence of RPC-743. Most of its mass consists of pipes. These range in diameter from 3 cm to over 1 m. Tools meant for medical and surgical use have been detected within RPC-743, such as syringes, bone saws, scalpels and various machines resembling bane strippers. Many of these tools are heavily rusted, and appear stained with a liquid containing blood from diverse species of bovine, avian, feline, and human. RPC-743 becomes active when a source of biomass comes into close proximity to any of its outstretched pipes. When active, RPC-743 will seek out any living tissue and attempt to make contact with it through locomotion, similar to that of a snake. Once this is achieved, the subject, animal or human, will become restrained by various pipes and wires, and will undergo the process of assimilation in RPC-743. The assimilation process consists of the aforementioned pipes binding the subject to a nearby wall. From there, various wires, small pipes, and other apparatuses are thrust into every available orifice and into the internals. These pipes and wires will attempt to connect within the subject. After completely raising the insides of the subject, 
they essentially become a working part of RPC-743. Currently, the method of keeping the subjects alive is unknown, due to a lack of thorough research. This process cannot be stopped. Any attempt to do so will inevitably end in the subject undergoing the process to expire. After the cessation of the process, the subject will become an integral part of RPC-743. Any subject that becomes assimilated loses all higher brain function and the ability to move. RPC-743 has the potential to create crude humanoid constructs that are shown to be extremely hostile to any nearby human subject, hereby designated as instances of RPC-743-1. These instances are mainly made from human flesh, as well as various pipes and metal wiring. Some instances will have been made from several different species of bovine and or feline. This has been hypothesized to have occurred because of lack of access to any human subjects. Much like RPC-743, these instances remain dormant, but will often aimlessly roam the area they are currently in. These instances will only become active when encountering a human subject. Should this circumstance be met, the instance will immediately attack the subject. If the subject is killed by the instance, they will often attempt to take a portion of their mass to increase their own. Most instances are completely mute, but some possess the ability to vocalize. This process is achieved through a speaker that has been installed directly into their lungs and throat. Below are some of these statements. For the sake of formatting, they have been translated from Mandarin into English. To create a better future for and all. Do not grow, but instead unite. Unification and greatness. The machine watches. The machine cares. To build a utopia. You are the cogs and the gears that operate in a machine much bigger than yourselves. For the betterment of humanity. We are the bridge to solidarity. The flesh of one man is weak, but together we are strong. Follow the words of Lorelei and find your calling within the machine. Discovery RPC-743 was discovered when there were multiple reports of disappearances in China. Prior to the decommissioning of the factory, it was designated as a metal works production facility. Its primary function was the assembly of metal sculptures. Due to complications within the factory see Addendum 743.2, it was promptly shut down and abandoned. This particular string of disappearances happened near a long decommissioned factory. Authority agents embedded within the local Chinese police force reported signs of anomalous activity when they attempted to investigate the disappearances. It wasn't until that it was discovered that the factory was harboring a dangerous anomalous object, and the Authority was contacted by the aforementioned agents to intervene. Addendum 743.1 Recovered Expedition Log Transcripts Initial Expedition Log Transcript Date 2000 Expedition Team Mobile Specialized Team Yankee 4 Pipe Cleaners Subject RPC-743 Team Lead Y-4 Cap Team Members Y-4-1 Y-4-2 Y-4-3 Y-4-4 Begin Log Time 1600 This is Yankee 4 Captain Mic Check 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 Pretty sure that's all of us. Get that command? Roger that, team lead. Alright ladies, make sure your guns are locked. People have disappeared here left and right, so keep your wits about you and don't get lost. Team moves through front gate. It is bound to be unlocked. Area is derelict. Doesn't seem like anybody's been here for years. No machinery to be found anywhere. Just a whole load of pipes. They seem to be running, but hasn't this place been decommissioned for a while? 
If this place didn't have anything unusual about it, we wouldn't have been sent here. Although I doubt whatever's in here is human. I keep hearing this fucking groaning, and it's irritating the hell out of me. Where is that coming from? Don't stray from the group, Private. God knows what's in here. Do we even know what we're looking for? All I know is that we're looking for something particularly dangerous. Nobody's been here yet, except for the people who disappeared. Team enters darker area. Shoulder-mounted lights are activated from there on. Okay, pretty sure we're getting closer to that noise. It's getting steadily louder and louder. Can you guys hear that too? Yeah, sounds like a person. You think they're hurt? Don't go rushing in. We still don't know what we're dealing with. Stay close. Team encounters door leading through corridor. Bound to be locked. 3. Get that open. Y4-3 grabs door handle and pushes through. Door is opened. Y4-2 recoils. What the fuck is that smell? It smells like shit. Yep, definitely shit. Found a body. What the hell? He's covered in pipes. No. They're going through him. Command, you getting this? Affirmative. Got an ID on this guy? How is he still alive? It's like he's a part of it. Can we even get him out? Y4-2 tugs on the pipes and wires encompassing the victim. Victim immediately expires. Various liquids shoot out from the separated pipes on the Y-4. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Why the hell did you do that? That guy's probably dead now. Shit, shit! What the hell is this shit? Christ! Calm the hell down. Command, what is this? We… we don't know what it is. You mean to tell me that you don't know what this is? Captain, we don't know what that liquid is. Right now, we suggest you proceed. It won't come off! Why the hell won't it come off? Shut the fuck up, too. Get a hold of yourself. Hey, Captain. There's a cat here, too. It's in the same state that guy was in earlier. It's all mangled and twisted. It's even got a pipe going through its ass. Man, why'd it have to be a cat this time? Does everything just get caught in here and get stuffed with pipes? It's still alive, too. We don't have time for this. Come on. Let's go. We need to find what did this. Team proceeds through corridor. Team goes through empty doorway in the larger room. Even more pipes here. Wait. Is… is that a scalpel? Why is a surgical tool directly connected to one of these pipes? Y4. Avoid touching anything within this factory, particularly anything that looks out of place. There's more like that over here, too. Syringes and stuff. Oh, what the fuck? These two pipes over here are connected by… <coughs> what the hell is wrong with this place? Fucking entrails. Really? Now that's fucked up. I think it's safe to assume that you're new to this sort of job. Oh, shut the fuck up, dickhead. This isn't a time to be the goddamn comic relief. Well, sorry, damn. Don't get your knickers in a twist about it. Fuck you. Hey, stop screwing around, you two. Two, what's going on over there? It's going through me. I, I can't get it out. What's going on? What the fuck? Three, four, get over here. Team gathers around Y4-2. Attempts to dislodge pipes are fruitless. Y4-2 gets dragged to the wall. Pipes and various other apparatus are seen penetrating its orifices. Stop, stop! You might end up killing him. Well, what are we supposed to do? Let him get skewered by these damn pipes? Team ceases attempt to free Y4-2. Command, what the hell is going on here? Y4, leave the area now. What? Gather your men and get out of there. Your position is compromised. Multiple unknown entities are heading in your direction. Alright, three, four, one, one? Where the hell did he go? I don't know. I guess he went missing while we were occupied with two. Oh fuck, shit. Okay, we're heading back the way we came. 
3. Cover our 6. What are you talking about? We can't just leave him behind. If we don't leave right the fuck now, we'll end up just like him. They're getting closer. We suggest you leave now. I heard you the first time. Come on, let's go. The door is locked. Wasn't this open when we came here? I don't remember a door being- Damn it, 4. Help me get this door down. Y4-3 and Y4-4 attempt to open the door. Door doesn't budge. They attempt a second time. Still doesn't budge. Why won't this damn door budge? What's taking so long? Aw oh, shit, the pipes are moving again. Gunshots. Shit, shit, get that damn door op- At this point, audio and video feed cut out. 3. Can you hear us? What happened? Team lead? Psych Command attempts to communicate with Yankee 4 for 30 more seconds, until they finally cease. Twelve seconds afterwards, Y4-1 is detected, and their audio feed still active. 1. 1. Can you hear us? Where are you? Y4-1 whimpers. 1. Respond. Y4-1 continues whimpering for several more seconds before responding to Psych Command. Let me die. Please. Let me die. It hurts so much. What's wrong? 1. Tell us where you are. Y4-1 no longer responds from there on, and only continues to quietly whimper. Sounds of scraping metal and rushing viscous liquids can be heard in the background. Yankee 4 is confirmed MIA until further notice. End log. Time. 1702. Second Expedition Log Transcript Date 2000 Expedition Team Mobile Specialized Team Sierra 13 Hard Hats Subject Whereabouts of Mobile Specialized Team Yankee 4 Pipe Cleaners Team Lead S-13 Cap Team Members S-13-1 S-13-2 Begin Log Time 1200 Coming Online Video and audio feed for all three S-13 members simultaneously come online. Ahead of them is the entrance to the factory, containing RPC-743. Can you hear us? Affirmative. Alright. Any more information we need? If you see anything that could potentially compromise your mission, do not hesitate to retreat. We don't want to repeat any past mistakes. Got it. S-13 enters the factory. Shoulder-mounted lights are not needed as oil lamps are scattered within its corridors. Command? I thought this place was supposed to be pitch black. It was. These fixtures are new. Keep your distance. They might have the same properties as the pipes here. Aye, aye. S-13 explored a factory under silence for about five minutes, until S-13 Cap signals the team to halt. Here's something? Shh. We got company up ahead. Two of them. Team lead. What do they look like? They don't look like who we're looking for, that's for damn sure. They're all wires and pipes. They walk like zombies as well. On my count, we get rid of them. Two. You get the one on the left. I'll get the one on the right. Yes, sir. Gunshots. Bogies eliminated. Get killed like zombies, too. Alright. Let's move on. Wait. Could you take a closer look at the bodies? Sure thing. One, you take a look. Me and two will scout ahead. One slowly approaches the dead carcasses. They both appear to be heavily deformed humans, with patches of rusted metal covering their bodies, and pipes going in and out of various facial orifices. Getting this command? Affirmative. One of them seems to be Y4-1. He got bucked up. Know what could have done this? We don't have enough sufficient research to determine who or what did this at the moment. You can proceed, One. Gotcha. S-13-1 regroups with the rest of S-13. Ahead of them is a door connected to a long corridor. The door lock on the door is bound to be broken. I'm going to assume that this is the place Yankee 4 went through. Affirmative. Be advised that there may be victims of RPC-743 in there. Previous video and audio recordings have shown that. 
As S-13 enters the corridor, S-13-2 recoils. Smells like shit in here. Could be dead bodies. We got a corpse here. Yankee 4 find this guy too? Yes. They accidentally killed him when they attempted to free him from the pipes. Should you find the remains of Yankee 4, do not attempt to help them. What if they turn out to be another one of those pipe zombies? You are authorized to use lethal force. We killed one of them already. Shouldn't be too hard to get the rest of them. S-13 proceeds through the corridor, ignoring the remains of a cat, adult human female, and a cow. Afterwards, they encounter a slew of pipes and wires blocking a doorway. Were these just built this way or what? This was the only other pathway that we saw. Should we go back? Wait. I can hear some kind of subtle thumping noise coming from the other side. Now that you mention it, yeah, I can hear it too. Command. Permission to utilize C4 charges? Permission granted. 2. Get them out. I. S13-2 places the C4 charges on the pipes blocking the doorway. After approximately 10 seconds, they exploded and opened the way. Immediately afterwards, a loud metal scraping sound could be heard throughout the factory. Shit! What the fuck was that? Audio and video feed promptly cut out, and any other wireless connection to Sierra 13 was lost. Site Command attempted to contact Sierra 13 for another five minutes, until it was concluded that the connection would not be regained. Alongside Yankee 4, Sierra 13 was considered MIA. Addendum 743.2 Recovered Audio Log Transcripts Note, The following audio logs were recovered in Mandarin. For the sake of formatting, they have been translated into English. Begin Log Everyone is gone. Everyone's gone. And it's because of that… Lorelei. Ever since he came, everything's gone under. He came with direct instructions from Mao to construct a machine that could apparently save all of humanity. But it wasn't just that. He came and somehow just… took over the factory. He started turning it into a messy maze of pipes, saying it was going as planned, and was a perfect machine. It was getting too out of hand, and somebody finally came out and said something. That was the worst mistake we had made. Lorelai took him away under the guise of a disciplinary talk, but he never came back. We never turned anything on inside it. But all of a sudden it started running, and something started running through the pipes. Little by little, people, good people, started disappearing. Out of all fifty people working on this machine, only twelve remain, including myself. Lorelai claimed that what we were doing was of great importance, and that it was going to benefit all of humanity. For some reason, everyone just went with it. Only me and three others were deeply concerned with what was happening. We're still currently working on it. Sometimes I'll see the myriad of pipes moving in the corner of my eye. This whole thing is driving me crazy. I fear that I might disappear alongside many of my colleagues. End log. Begin log. Lorelai is gone. As fast as he came and built this… thing, he just as soon disappeared. The pipes have truly begun moving. The last of my colleagues have been assimilated by the machine. I've been reduced to hiding in a closet. Fortunately, the pipes have not rooted themselves deep enough to find me. But the threat still lingers. It grows day by day, absorbing anything that comes across it. Sometimes I hear the shuffling of footsteps right outside this door. I want to think that they belong to a friend, yet my instincts tell me they belong to something horribly malevolent. If anybody finds this, please, don't come into this factory. It contains an evil built and fueled by man. It wants to take us into its awful embrace. It might take me sooner or later, but I can't let it. It builds and builds and builds. For the betterment of humanity, it says, to unite us under a single banner. It says these pleasant words, but I hate them. Lorelai, that… End log. These are not the only audio logs that have been discovered, but due to the complete deterioration of the other logs' contents, they could not be fixed, 
and were therefore discarded until further notice. After examination of the audio logs and their contents, the man who had been heard within them has been identified as the late a senior engineer working in the facility, who went missing after the events that transpired within the factory, prior to his decommissioning on February 4, 1969. Further investigation of the POI known as Lorelei is ongoing.